Scooby Dooby Doo, yeah, where are you? Do we care about your legacy? I don't know, friends. Is it time for a Scooby snack or a Scooby not that? You know what it is. That's right, we're talking about Scooby Doo. The franchise that may have been ridden into the ground. It's hard to say. I am the man you may know as he from our reviews will kill you. I would greatly appreciate like or subscribe. I always forget to do that. I watch these videos and I go, I should like and subscribe, but I forget because I move on to the next one. But we're going to talk about Scooby-Doo. There's rumors of a live action Scooby-Doo. Nothing's concrete yet. And I don't normally cover rumors, but what I want to talk about is... Do we care at this point? Has the legacy of Scooby-Doo been so tarnished that we just aren't interested anymore? And especially with the people that are involved, it's it's fascinating, right? So Scooby-Doo probably places a, a, a place in everyone's heart because Scooby has transcended numerous... I mean, the, the properties around since, I guess, the 70s. You got the original Scooby and the Harlem Globetrotters, like... And the Three Stooges, like the old school Scooby-Doo. I think it only aired for like 29 episodes or three seasons. And then it moved on, and, and I think you got Scrappy-Doo. By no means am I some kind of Scooby-Doo expert. I just know that I cared about the, the you know, I cared about Scooby, man. scooby doo ba doo and, <laughs> and then, so you had a ton of stuff from the 70s, the cartoon that got replayed and people watched it, right? And then it graduated to live action in, what, the late two or mid, early 2000s? I don't know. All I know is the chick from Buffy the Vampire Slayer was in it, and uh, a bunch of other folks did it. And it was all CGI, and a lot of people like those ones, right? And I think that spawned, like, a whole renaissance of Scooby-Doo, where there's, like, a bajillion from, like, the, the late 90s all the way through now there's like scooby-doo cartoons right there's a whole bunch of scooby-doo interpretations including uh scoob which i thought was pretty okay like i i liked it it was fine it wasn't like the greatest thing i've ever seen but it was fine and scoob for a new generation and then there was gonna be a scoob christmas special which got canceled by warner brothers I think it was Warner Brothers. And now, I don't know where the rights are. Like, it's crazy. Maybe because they turned down that Christmas special that I think got f it got entirely created. A CGI movie that got created. It's, a, it's you know, in the same realm of uh, Coyote versus Acme and Batgirl. It just got shelved. And everybody says it's good, but nobody's willing to watch it. Well, people are willing to watch it, but they're not willing to air it. So now Scooby-Doo's in a weird position... And it looks like Netflix has taken a shot at the right to Scooby-Doo. Let's take a look. This came across the wires on The Hollywood Reporter. It must be real because Greg Berlanti is involved. You may know Greg Berlanti from such things as the Arrowverse and from Dawson's Crick. You know, that old show with um, that guy Dawson and uh, the chick who ended up marrying Tom Cruise, I think. I don't know. Way before my time. But Dawson's Creek, or Crick, your choice. And, uh, yeah, there's a live-action series at the works at Netflix. So, to me, that means the, the rights were up for grabs and somebody just took it. It's going to be written by Josh Applebaum and Scott, Scott Rosenberg. I am fairly sure that this is going to get green lit. Um Netflix has a script to series commitment at Netflix, right? Meaning if the script is well received, it could trigger a straight to order series for what is considered a live action update of the cl classic cartoon. There already was a live action update. I distinctly remember seeing some of those movies. I don't remember the actors. Um, I'm going to say definitely Sarah Michelle Gellar and her husband and some other people. I, the guy who plays Scooby is actually a really good actor. I just He was just in the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I was going to say Five Guys at Freddy, Freddy's, but <laughs> but yeah, he was in that. Uh, I'll never, I can't remember his name, but he's a guy. But the deal is not formally 
yet closed. But I'm going to say, which is strange, producers for Warner Brothers and Berlanti Productions declined to comment. Maybe Warner Brothers is, is like, we don't want to take a bath on this. We'll let Netflix go ahead. Now, this is what's a little dangerous. Josh Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg previously adapted Cowboy Bebop. What? That was terrible. And High Fidelity, which I don't know. That's for Hulu. I have no idea if that's any good. But Greg Berlanti has kind of a, you know, somewhere in the middle uh, reputation there. I think he has a pretty good reputation on some parts of things. Especially getting things off the ground, right? And uh, apparently it looks like Warner Brothers, where Berlanti, Berlanti was based, owns the animation studio, Hanna-Barbera. There was a live-action remake. Yes, we know that. And uh, it started Matthew Lillard. That's right. He was real good. Matthew Lillard. And I think Seth Green was in the second one, if I recall correctly. There was going to be a third film, but that got scrapped. And, uh, yeah, it did pretty good. Some people seem to like it. I guess, yeah, there you go. It started in 1969. And aired in syndication until 86. Look at this. That's like the whole history of Scooby-Doo. I didn't even know what's going on. Uh, Berlanti seems to have a deal with Netflix, though, because he, he transferred the Mac show, Dead Boy Detectives, which was, if I remember correctly, going to be it, it connected somehow in the same universe as um, Doom Patrol, because I think that's where they, or it's an, off, there you go, it's an offshoot of Sandman, so, who knows, man? Uh, Berlanti most recently was behind The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I thought that was kind of a hit. So, I, I guess he's up for grabs because the CW's done and he's just willing to go anywhere he wants. Nobody wants to talk to the people who adapted Cowboy Bebop. That, that sounds terrible. But, you know, if Greg Berlanti's in charge, that means he can put it to anybody he wants. I don't know, I just thought this was some interesting news. I don't know where it's going to go. I think we're going to hear more about it in the future. But I guess with Velma coming out, and especially Season 2, are we done with Scooby-Doo? Like, is there any reason to readapt this? Is this? It's, it's weird. It's one of those transcendent franchises that goes through generation to generation since 1969, and people still have fond feelings for it. What? Where does that leave anything? I'm always of the mind that I will give everything a fair shake. You know, I, I'm not going to judge it just because Velma is terrible and that's a terrible interpretation does not mean that the franchise is ruined forever for me personally. So let me know what you guys think. I think this is an interesting, you know, where are we going to go from here? Are we, are we completely... You know, is this going to be one of those things where, you know, they re they race swapped and re re swapped everybody, and now that's how they're going to be for the rest of eternity, as far as we know? They're going to go with the original crew? Are they going to go with a CGI dog or a real live dog? I mean, Velma did no dog, so I'm confused about that one. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Is this a good move, bad move? Do you trust Greg Berlanti? Or do you not know who he is? Or are you concerned that the dude who did The Flash? And the arrow and Dawson's Crick. Are you? Are, does that seem like a good match for for Scooby Doo? I don't know. I'm caught up in the air. I'll give it a fair shake until it comes out. Let me know what you think. Catch our live podcast. It is here on YouTube Friday night, 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also catch us on Rumble. You can also catch us on iTunes. All those places. We'd love for you to check it out. It's a good time had by all. Like and subscribe. We love all y'all. Thank you for listening. I do appreciate it. But I'm on to the next one.